Hi, my name is Travis Nielsen and this is Dev Tips. A little while ago, we finished a big project called Design and Code My Personal Website in 12 Hours. We ended up with this, and I'm really happy with it. It's my personal website, I think it represents myself really well. What I want to do today is see if we can enhance this top section here by adding a video background. And we're going to start by figuring out how to do that full screen background across the whole browser. But after that, I'm going to go back to that website and I'm going to do just the about section. And you can see how both of those work. So now let's just get started. The files that I'm using are very basic right now. We have an index.html and I have a style.css, which is blank. And I also have a poster.ping. This is just a screenshot I took of nothing, of just the desktop because I didn't have anything else. And then there's the vine.mp4 and then the vine.webm. MP4 is the video file, webm is the video file. Also, there's going to be two formats of it so that all browsers can use this, uh, the, what, the project that we're doing. Now, what I did is I just took my MP4 and I, did, I just Googled MP4 to webm and any of those websites will, will just convert it really easily. But let's continue on right here. So I'm going to go to my index.html and I'm just really easily going to create a video tag. Video and then and the tag. And then I want to close the tag right here by going video. Done. That's how you do a video tag. HTML5. Easy. There's a few attributes inside and the first one is going to be poster. And poster is going to be the source of the image that will show up if the um, if the browser can't play video or it can't find the video or there's like a problem playing the video it's going to show the poster so we want to have like it's kind of like a backup for the video it's a static image and i made a poster dot ping which is i just screenshotted my desktop as i work so here's this is the video and poster dot ping shows up as the back as as like the as the substitute for the actual moving videos so Let's go inside of that video tag and put a few of these things called source. And the source is going to have a SRC attribute, it's like a source in the source, whatever. And uh, we're going to look for these, these files here, uh, vine. Okay, so vine.mp4. And uh, let's do another one. Oh, and then you want to say type. Type equals... Uh, video slash mp4. All right, I'm going to copy this and paste it right below. And this time I'm going to say webm. And save. So there's a few other attributes that you can put inside that video. One of them is going to be autoplay. And autoplay, you can, you can just write autoplay or autoplay equals true. And now it just starts playing. I have my computer muted so you don't hear it, but this is a vine that I did a while ago. <laughs> and see how it gets to the end and just stops? Um, I want to write the uh, attribute loop. And this time it should go through and he's going to be running and then it'll loop again. Okay, so that's kind of what we want for this because it's a full screen background. We just want it to kind of like be playing and then like looping and we don't want the, it to kind of ever stop. Uh, if we wanted to be really advanced with it, we could tell JavaScript to like say, if it's in the viewport, play. If we scroll out of the viewport, don't play. But right now I just want to show you how to make this video full screen and you guys can like, maybe we'll come back to this or whatever, but that's the mission today is just make this full screen. First of all, let's take this body and the HTML that we're in. and uh, remove the margins, zero, and padding, zero. Now see how that video is like right up tight against the top of the browser? That's good. Next we want to say video, and we can put a class on this video and call it, but there's only one video element in this, so I'm just doing it by the, uh, just calling it by the tag name. Video, we're gonna say position uh, absolute. And then we want to, um, top we're going to just basically center if you guys haven't seen the the centering video that i did on dev tips a while ago this was all all of that kind of stuff so i'm just going to quickly do this left 50 percent kind of put these closing things i'm used to sass um and then i'm going to do transform translate 
negative 50% comma negative 50% and that will pull it up there okay oh that's weird why is it not centered um, oh you gotta spell it right position position Okay, now it's centered in my viewport. Let's go and just stretch it. So um, we're gonna say <clears throat> minimum width is 100%. Easy, minimum height, 100%. See now this, see that the white on the bottom and the top, uh, not 100 pixels, 100%. That will, the white, uh, so, so what we're doing is saying the minimum width and the minimum height are both 100%. So if, if it needs to be 100%, in this case, the height is going to take it all the way. And then if we're going to squeeze it in the other aspect ratio, it's going to be 100% wide. So it's going to make the video bigger. So this is like a great way. It's kind of like saying background um, size cover. It's very, very similar to that. And then we'll, we're going to go and just make sure that things are looking good all the time. And then it keeps this aspect ratio by saying width auto and, uh, and height auto. That's just going to uh, make sure that it keeps its aspect ratio all the time. Everything that you expect. Okay, so this is a full screen uh, video here. We can do, let's see, we can do a little bit more work with it. Let's put it in a a container div class container and then we're also going to put um, a div class equals text Okay, so now um, the video is inside of a, a container, and then there is a uh, there's also a, a sibling of the video. It's called text, and there's just like a bunch of random text in it. So let's go back to our style and say uh, text z dash index. Uh, two, and then we'll put Z index here, make it one. So we want to get that text on top of the um, on top of the video. Where are you, text? Why are you not on top? Z index two. Oh, because you need a position relative. Z index doesn't work unless the uh, unless the position is declared. So now, as soon as I declared, it doesn't need to be uh, absolute. It can be relative. Um, or fixed, but then Z index will work. So that's why it didn't work. So now we have text on top of the video. Let's put the text in, um, let's say, let's say background um, RGBA, make it black, uh, opacity of like 40%. Now let's stretch it out, say top, zero, bottom, zero. Left, zero, uh, zero, and right, zero. I need to say position, absolute. Okay, now I put an overlay on top of this video. Um, I could, uh, change the, the hue of it. So it's now it's like a red overlay on top of the video. And you could even put like a, a gradient across the top of the video and, and change, you can do a lot with this stuff. Okay, so this is this is very basically putting text on top of full screen video and putting an overlay on top of the video. Now what I wanna do is share with you uh, how I'm gonna use this on my website. Okay, this is how my website currently works. And I'm not gonna take you through writing the code and everything because I, get, because I just did it in the last section. But I want to show you how I did it, and I'll show you the code, and then you guys can see it on GitHub. But here in, in this uh, area, we have um, the Travis is trying to grow up section, and then there's a background image 
on that uh, on that area on that section and it, it's my face. What I wanted to do is say if if it can do it, uh, replace that face with a video. And so in the in the jade, I did exactly what I sh showed you before. And here are the two sources called Trav Face. And uh, when I save, you'll see that it'll refresh and you'll see a video there instead of the background image. See, now there's that creepy video of Travis's face doing things instead of... <laughs> it's so weird. Instead of just the still image. And that's fun. Um, here's a few differences from what I did a few minutes ago in the full screen video and what happened here. Number one is that I did not have a poster in the video. It's blank and the reason for that is that I used the background of the section as the air quotes poster. So I didn't want to have a, a still image inside of the video player, I wanted to have a still image inside of the container parent, which works out just to be the same. Like if this video doesn't play, there's still an image going on right there. And that's why when I just commented out these video sources, you could see the image behind it, which is basically two and one and seven other, I don't know that phrase, but it's basically the same thing. So next let's go to the SAS. How did this work out? Well, in the about section, I made it relative and overflow hidden. So if I take this overflow hidden off, you'll see that the video is a lot larger than its parent container. And I did that so that, you know, when it's responsive, it can have different um, proportions, but it's overflow hidden. And then uh, we did some positioning here uh, to get it positioned in the right place. The Z index one to put it behind the text. Travis is trying to grow up min high, everything that you've seen already. This is, I mean, it's pretty a one-to-one -one, uh, transition right there from the first project into this project. The difference being it's contained in, into a strip and it's behind text that's already there. And that's how I made my website a little bit more creepy. <laughs> it's fun, huh? Thank you so much for watching this video because if you didn't, who really would? Uh, if you want to leave any questions or comments, through it in the down thing down below. And also I want to thank all of the patrons that made this video possible. These are the patrons. Ah. Patrons are the lovely people who donate a little bit of money every time that a video is made on every Monday. And they uh, make it possible to make more videos and to make the videos nicer. And so I want to thank them. You can find out more about Patreon and also the community that we have growing around these patrons and the perks and whatever on uh, patreon.com slash devtips. Thanks for watching this video and never forget to keep on hacking and I will see you next week.